Accurately capturing raw scan data of maxillary and mandibular arches can be achieved in one of two ways. The first method is by scanning the patient's mouth, using a preferred intraoral scanning device and associated software to capture critical topology of the affected region of the mouth. The second method is by scanning a fully cured dental stone model poured from traditional dental impression systems, using a high-resolution desktop dental scanner. Import raw scan data to your preferred dental design software suite to produce design restorations or provisionals. Convert the raw scan data into a watertight 3D printable model if desired. Find and apply the Rodin Sculpture Material Specific Support Strategy Profile. Add support structures where additional support may be critical to aesthetics, such as anterior incisal edges. Long spans between support structures also improve dimensional stability. It is best to orientate restorations at a 15-degree angle, with supports making contact with the occlusal and incisal surfaces. Avoid placing supports in aesthetic and adaptive sensitive areas such as embrasures, anatomical grooves, abutment cavities, and palate sensitive areas. Stir or roll rodin sculpture resin in the original bottle, as recommended prior to printing. After the design is finalized, send the file to the 3D printer and begin printing. Carefully remove the restoration from the build plate, using a spatula or clippers. Remove excess uncured resin with a toothbrush soaked with 99% isopropyl alcohol. Rinse the head of the toothbrush and reapply to the restoration until clean. Afterwards, dry with compressed air. Do not submerge restorations in IPA. Failure to follow this recommendation will expose the ceramic filler, leaving a frosted white appearance. Carefully remove support tips and pits from printed green state restorations using a dental handpiece with a dull carbide burr at low speeds. Microfracturing may occur if restoration or provisional is post-cured prior to support removal or making occlusal adjustments. Apply a thin coat of light curable glaze, such as rodent glaze, to the restoration or provisional. Avoid applying light curable glaze to the intaglio surfaces of crowns or bridges. Crowns and bridges may not fit properly if this happens. Apply light curable stains to further enhance characterization of teeth and gingival areas if desired. Post-cure all rodent sculpture shades in a validated light curing unit. Follow the validated recommended times and temperature schedules if applicable, especially if not applying light curable stains and glaze products to the restoration or provisional. The Otoflash G171 with nitrogen hookup is the recommended light cure device of choice for best aesthetics and mechanical properties. Lastly, recheck the fit, occlusion, and contact areas after light curing applied light curable stains and glazes. Make adjustments to contacts and occlusion after light curing applied light curable stains and glazes if applied too heavily. Our Rodin sculpture is perfect for any temporary and long-term provisionals with its strength, wear resistance, and stunning lifelike aesthetics. Thank you for using Rodin Sculpture. To learn more about our Rodin resins, please visit our website at www.packdent.com.